This video covers the disassembly of the factory shock absorber and installation of the iLift actuator for the Audi R8 and certain Lamborghini vehicles. These instructions can be used for aftermarket shock absorbers, however certain steps may be different and you should check with your shock absorbers manufacturer. First, mount the shock absorber into a spring compressor and compress the spring about 1 inch. Press down on the shock absorber to expose the circlip. Remove the circlip from the groove. Remove the shock absorber from the spring compressor, and when removed, slide the spring and the lower mount all the way down. Using the factory shock absorber clamp tool, which is Audi part number T40177, or a soft shaft clamp tool as shown, made from aluminum or brass, firmly clamp the top of the shock absorber rod as shown. Important. Do not grip the shock absorber shaft with steel jaws or damage will result. Using a breaker bar, break the top mount loose, being careful with the electric harness that exits the top mount. Remove the top spring perch, spring, and lower mount rubber bushing. Once removed, clean the male threads on the shock absorber and the female threads in the top mount with solvent to remove any thread locking compound. Use a soft mallet and the bottom spring perch to gently tap off the dust cap as shown. Note the soft jaws used in the vise to avoid marring the shock absorber shaft. Install the supplied threaded sleeve onto the shock absorber. You may need to compress the circlip with a tool to fit the sleeve over the clip. Install the supplied set studs into the supplied threaded perch with the nylon tip on the inside, but leave them loose. Thread the perch all the way down onto the sleeve. Next, install the lower supplied spring spacer onto the spring perch. Next, tap the top dust cap on with a soft mallet. With a lint-free swabber brush, apply a thin layer of motor oil to both the black piston seal and the red cylinder seal. Flip the eye lift actuator upside down. The supplied cone installation tool has a narrow and wider end. Install the cone tool's narrower cone end first into the black bottom seal by carefully expanding the seal with the cone tool as it is pushed in. Take care not to tear the seal or a leak may result. Install the actuator spring spacer as shown. Install the supplied bump stop into the dust boot as shown. The groove on the bump stop will clip into the groove in the actuator's piston. Push the bump stop into the actuator's receiving groove, making sure to not damage the cone tool installed in the seal. Install the helper springs first, then the spring joiners included in the box with the helper springs. Install the thrust washers on either side of the spring joiner. Next, install the mainspring. 
carefully lower the eye lift actuator assembly onto the shock rod, looking through the red seal in the top of the actuator to align the cone installation tool and the shock absorber shaft. Push down on the eye lift actuator to expose the shock shaft and cone installation tool. Remove the cone installation tool. Note: Do not force the actuator onto the shaft if the cone installation tool is no longer protecting the threads on the shock absorber shaft or the seal in the actuator may be damaged. For factory shock absorbers or aftermarket shock absorbers that require them, install the spacer with the counter bore facing up as shown. Making sure the threads of the shock absorber and top mount have been cleaned of old thread locking compound, apply medium or blue thread locking compound to the threads of the top mount. With the perch threaded all the way down on the threaded sleeve, place the exposed shock shaft in a shaft clamp and tighten the top mount. Final torque can be achieved with an open-ended torque wrench. Carefully remove the clamp from the shaft. Thread the bottom perch up to have about two inches of thread exposed under the perch. Replace the shock absorbers to the vehicle. Torque specifications can be found in the iLift installation manual.